So guys, welcome to your 20th After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create an inverted mask and also how to um, create something called a Luma Matte Effect. So let me go ahead and get rid of this. I don't know why it's here. And go ahead and create a basic mask anywhere on your uh, composition. Uh, I'm going to go over to my layers panel and create something like a star mask or something. And as you can see, um, whenever you create a basic mask, the only thing it does is just create it like you told it to. But sometimes instead of just showing what's inside the mask, you want to show what's outside the mask. So anytime you want to do that, what you need to do is go ahead to where your mask is and go ahead and select this inverted button. And now, as you can see in our composition, everything outside the mask is inverted, or excuse me, is showing instead of inside the mask. And this is useful. Let me play this and show you guys what it looks like. If you want to like block out like my computer screen right here and make it show something else, you can use something like this mask to give it a new effect. So you don't always have to mask inside the shape. You can also mask outside the shape. So let me get rid of this mask and show you what I got for you next. Close my layer. Now aside from masking, you can also use something called a mat and it gives you a different effect. So let me show you guys what that is right now. Um, let me see if I can get in my Photoshop thing and show you guys what I created. Here's what I created in Photoshop, just a black and white picture and what's going to happen is I'm going to show you guys whenever you create something like this all the white it shows through and all the black gets maxed out masked out there we go so anytime you see Bucky it's going to show through my video and anytime you see black and this doesn't just work with a Photoshop file but that was the easiest it also works with uh, anything that's black and white so let me show you guys how to use this I got my black and white image right here it's called boobs too. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it if I can grab it. Let's go ahead and drag it on the screen right here. Now in order to use this, well let's expand this a little bit first. Control T. Actually leave it just like that. I don't want to mess anything up. In order to use this, what you need to do is make sure that this um your mat is on top of your video file. So if it was under here, it wouldn't work. It needs to be on top, just like that. Another thing that you need to do is go ahead and over on your video file, not your mat, you need to go and select Luma Mat. And what this does, is you can see, is it takes your mat and uh, makes it, well, exactly how you wanted it to do. What it does is make sure or not make sure it makes all the white parts see through and makes everything underneath um, showing so anything that's black gets blocked out and anything that's white gets see through so let me expand this uh, and let me show it to you guys as you can see when I play my video anything that's white gets shown through and anything that's black gets blacked out so those are the basics of a mat and again the keys you have to remember here is the mat has to go on top of the video file and also this luma mat has to be selected if you don't have those two things then it just isn't gonna work and again if you want to turn that off just go ahead and select no track mat and you're back to your normal video so that is how you create a mat and it's kinda of different than a mask in that you can get more well just different techniques and we'll be going over a mat in the next couple tutorials to um, show you some real cool techniques but for now that's how you add a basic mat to your video so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next tutorial